Welcome to a new episode of Science in Context. I'm Sabina and this week, Dr. Pablo Perez Guzman and Dr. Edward Knock join me to discuss their paper on transmissibility and severity of COVID-19 in England. Ed, you used surveillance data, can you explain? Yeah, so pandemic surveillance involves collecting data on infections and their impact on population health, such as hospitalizations and deaths. Our study covered a data-rich period in England from the start of the pandemic until February 2022. This unique level of epidemiological surveillance allowed us to examine population level drivers of transmissibility and severity in an unprecedented detail for any pandemic pathogen. What differences between variants did you find? Uh, we compared the original wild type variant and the variants of concern Alpha, Delta and Omicron BA1. Each successive variant was intrinsically more transmissible, with Omicron being three times more transmissible than the wild type. The Alpha variant was the most severe, followed by Delta, wild type and Omicron. And the Omicron variant also had immune escape properties, which meant that protection against infection or severe disease from prior infections and vaccines was lessened. Pablo, what was the impact of interventions that you find? Before and early in the vaccine's rollout, protection against infection in the population was very low. Non-pharmaceutical interventions were crucial to control transmission until enough people had developed immunity. We also find that improvements in clinical care throughout 2020 drove a decrease in severity. This trend, however, was reversed in the 2020 to 2021 winter because of the emergence of alpha and mounting pressures on the health system. What do these findings mean? The SARS-CoV-2 pandemic is still ongoing and other pandemic pathogens uh, pose a threat. Our methods and findings are essential for preparing for future pandemics. They highlight the importance of detailed surveillance, which can inform strategies to control transmission and achieve effective levels of immunity in populations. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.